right, Sarah, you're going to have me trying <laughs> some sauerkraut. Now, I learned that it was cabbage from you. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know it was cabbage. Uh -huh. So what makes it the sour part? Yeah, so that's from the fermentation. Okay. So as it ferments, it creates that lactic acid, mm -hmm. uh, and lactic acid tastes sour. So. Okay. And yep. people like to just eat this on its own, or how do people mix it up? Yeah, you can. You definitely can just, you know, grab it out of the jar and just eat it as a little mm -hmm. snack. Um, but generally, I think people put it on food. So on a sandwich, a salad, a wrap, stir fry, fried rice, anything. Um, oh. It just it adds a lot of flavor. It helps yeah. you digest whatever you're eating. So. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yes. So it's a health benefit. I was going to ask, does it do anything special? So is it the fermenting? that does it, it just adds an extra health aid on it? Yeah, so when you ferment foods, um, it makes um, whatever's in the food, whatever nutrients are in the cabbage, um, it makes it more bioavailable into our bodies. Um, does it make it come alive? Yeah, it is. It is a living. Yeah, it's a living food. So there's in these jars of everything is living um, bacteria. So yeah. probi the probiotics. Yeah. Yes, which is really uh -huh. good for you and good for your gut. So we're gonna eat this today. I know you have the regular flavor. Mm -hmm. You have curry and ginger beets. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And one. that one's made with a red cabbage oh. instead of green cabbage. Yeah. Okay, which one are we gonna start off with? So let's do the traditional kraut. Traditional yeah. kraut. Okay. In, uh, it's there's nothing in it besides cat it's literally green cabbage and salt but it has so much flavor um, just on its own I think <laughs> a little sour huh mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie now that I know that it's cabbage I'm gonna this process is gonna be so much better because I like cabbage okay yeah now I understand what it is and I like sour so it's giving me like pickle yeah vibes. yeah uh -huh. 100% okay. so I love doing it on things that are because of it it's sourness. I like doing it on like a fat, like a avocado. Mm. Anything avocado, it's good with uh, okay. cheese, burgers. It's yeah. It's you good. may have turned me on to sauerkraut. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? So this is the curry kraut. So curry it's got kraut. a. It's made with Indian curry spices. Uh -huh. um, so you can see like the turmeric in there. It's super bright. Um, oh, is that what gives it the color? Yeah, oh. and this this one will perk up anything. Like you have a lame salad, you can put this on and it'll, lame perk, salad. It, it'll perk it right up. <laughs> mm. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm digging the sourness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. that's the other thing about them is um, they're living. So a lot of sauerkrauts that you buy off the shelf, if mm -hmm. it's not in the refrigerator, that's been pasteurized, no probiotics. Oh, good to know. <laughs> okay, which one's next? Uh, the beans. Ginger uh, beans. Yep, and there's also apple in there, and like I said, it's made with red cabbage instead of green. I love beets, so, so good for you. They are, they are. Um, I really like this one on like stir fries or fried rice. Mm -hmm. Or a salad, again. There it is. <laughs> the sourness punches you a little later. Uh -huh. It's delayed on that one. I was uh -huh. looking for it, where is it? Then it went bam. Yeah, the ginger is kind of strong mm. in that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, I actually like those. Okay, now what's this? This is kimchi, right? And that's kimchi, yep. So, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. What is it? <laughs> it was, no, I love it. It's um, got a lot of flavor. There's garlic and ginger in there and green onion, um, and uh, it's made with Napa cabbage instead of regular green cabbage. Oh, it's cabbage too. Yeah, it's just a different style of cabbage, so okay. the Napa. Uh, and it's also spicy. There's some Korean red peppers in there as well. Here we go. I really like this one on like breakfast food, like a breakfast sandwich or like mm. breakfast potatoes. Up morning. Yeah, or like you know, uh, I do Korean bowls at home a lot. Mm -hmm. So like, that's definitely has an Asian fusion. It's not bad, but definitely my favorite. Uh, I don't know. I kind of really, really enjoyed just the regular. I may just have to put regular. <laughs> I'm a sauerkraut person now. Yeah, that. <laughs> I, that's probably my go-to one, so honestly. So awesome. Yeah. And you also make fermented hot sauce. Yep. Tell me about this. So does it give a different flavor than regular hot sauce? Um, a little bit. So it gets its tang from the, the fermentation instead of vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of makes its own acid. So that's the difference. Um, but I put a lot of flavor in it. So I have a bunch of different hot peppers, locally grown. I use sweet peppers, carrots, um, garlic, and onion. So they're uh, it has a ton of flavor. I've got like a mild one and then a spicier one. I love it. So. Hot pepper 
uh, party. Hot, hot pepper party, <laughs> yep. We got all the different hot peppers in there. So. Well, this is so awesome. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed myself here and learning, oh my goodness, all about the herbs and stuff. So it's wonderful what you're doing. If someone Thank wants you. to find out more information about your business, where should they go? Um, we have a website. Um, mm -hmm. It's lunarinfusions.com. We're mm -hmm. really easy to find. Um, you can always come in and talk to us um, here or at our electric work store yes. or the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And we have a big social media presence, so we do post a lot about what's going on and mm -hmm. how we make stuff um, on Instagram and Facebook right. and TikTok. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I gotta get the TikTok in. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, yeah, Sarah. Thank you for coming. Yes, this was so great. And now I learned that I'm a sauerkraut person. Do you enjoy sauerkraut is my question to you all. You have to come out and try these yummy selections and the kombucha bar. We'll be right back.